hello uh, in this video uh, i am going to show you uh, what is trigonometry uh, this uh, word trigonometry is made from two words first is trigon and second is metry so trigon means a triangle and metry means measurement so in trigonometry uh, our task is to find the sides of a triangle or the angles of the triangle given there are some parameters like few of the sides are given and we need to find the third side of it so when trigonometry comes the first thing which should come in mind is a right angle triangle now what is a right angle triangle a right angle triangle is something which has one of its angle as 90 degree Uh, the side which is opposite to this 90 degree angle is called hypotenuse or we can write it as h one side is called base uh, the other side is called perpendicular or p this is p now what is the most interesting fact about this right angle triangle is there is a pythagoras theorem through which we can find the third side if we know the two sides of a triangle which says the square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of the perpendicular plus the square of the base now if you have any other triangle which have three sides and if anyone gives you two sides and ask you to find the third side you won't be able to tell them but because of this theorem for the right angle triangle we can find the third side when two sides are given so the whole trigonometry is derived from just this basic property of the right angle triangle and we will look further how can we use this property to find the various sides or the angles through it so for the right angle triangle if we can find some ratio of the sides then we can calculate the remaining of the angles or sides very easily so based on uh, this basic understanding there are some ratios in trigonometry so uh, what is a ratio uh, ratio is something uh, it is a unitless quantity so like it can be a ratio of two same things for understanding like in the case of triangle it can be ratio of the two sides or it can be ratio of two angles for the sake so if we look at this triangle there are three sides first is perpendicular second is base and third is hypotenuse so using three sides we can find ratio of all of them in various combination for example one of the ratio which we can take is perpendicular upon hypotenuse another ratio which we can take is base upon hypotenuse one another ratio which we can take is perpendicular upon base so these are three ratios and also we can just inverse this ratio and find new ratios like it can be h upon p it can be h upon b and it can be b upon p so these ratios these are just ratios suppose if the sides of this triangle uh, let's say if this is 3 this is 4 and this is 5 then this p upon h can be 3 upon 5 this p upon h can be 4 upon 5 and p upon b can be 3 upon 4 so these are just the ratios of the sides Okay, 
these ratios here when the trigonometry starts these ratios are termed they are given a specific def definition based on the angle which is there suppose if this angle is say 37 degree and this is 3 degree so these ratios can be defined can be linked to this angle so this we call it as sin sin of 37 degree this is just an angle and this sin is just a name a name of the ratio for the corresponding angle 37 degree so if you ask what is sin 37 it is this ratio which is 3 by 5 the ratio of its its sides now if we similarly this b upon h ratio it is called cos of 37 degree and this p upon b ratio is tan of 37 degree similarly this h upon p ratio is called cosec of 37 this is called sec of 37 degree and this is called cot of 37 degree so these are just the ratios we are just naming these ratios of a right angle triangle side to some name later on in this trigonometry we are going to experience how these ratios are interlinked with each other and how we can uh, use them to calculate various angles of this triangle now uh, suppose uh, if we look at this expression here in this expression if we divide it by hypotenuse in all sides what we would get we would be getting like this b square by h square now here we can also write it as like this now we can on simplifying we will get 1 square is now p by h we have called it as sin so this is sin of 37 square plus cos of 37 square now if we simplify this this would be coming to like sin square 37 plus cos square 37 is 1 so this is a very general expression if there is any angle theta then we can write in a right angle triangle this expression 